Okay, welcome to the summary of the third turn of 1943. These were the two cards. Um, come to think of it, um, yeah, I, there weren't any naval battles, but the Germans uh, certainly had the opportunity to use uh, their special event, uh, meaning that the infantry could have either attacked or defended at plus one, but I completely forgot. Well, I guess that um, evens the score because uh, something similar happened previously to the Russians, so uh, I guess I will just leave it at that. Now, what uh, happened? Uh, the Allies had, um, that is the Western Allies, they had three CM out of those five. And uh, one thing they did was to uh, move an infantry unit, to strategically move an infantry unit to Denmark, straight from the US, to, um, to fortify the area, uh, which is needed. Um, maybe not so much because they really need to be afraid of a German counterattack, but obviously they will want to attack themselves later on. And as you can still see in the picture, I think, um, it's a wooded border, um, so there's a limit of one even though they could send along a, a leader and an aircraft as well and, and, and even the supporting um, uh, aircraft carrier uh, not to Bremen of course but to Hamburg they could because um, Bremen is um, well he can't invade it, can't see invade it um, which I assume includes um, a shore bombardment as well uh, meaning that it's disallowed um, well what else did they do? They attacked um, a factory in Essen and the factory in Hamburg, I believe, and both were eliminated. So um, that cost the Germans dearly and they didn't have any command left to rebuild them for the time being. Uh, so um, that really hurt them. The other two Allied CM were used by the Russians. They now successfully attack Romania with fewer forces than before, but the Germans didn't have any resources in the previous turn to uh, strengthen their defenses there so uh, now that the uh, defense was weaker the German uh, the Russians actually did manage to break through so they took Romania which also resulted in the elimination of the Romanian unit uh, which was helping out the Germans in the Carpathians um, so um, yeah that hit them pretty hard as well uh, and um, well the Russians did attack the Carpathians as well, if I remember correctly, but they didn't succeed. Um, what did the Germans do? One thing they did was to attack um, East Prussia. And even though they did inflict quite a few casualties on the Russians, um, those were easily replaced and rebuilt. And they suffered some casualties themselves as well, uh, which were, of course, much harder to replace. But it, it was a close-fought battle, and I guess, considering the circumstances, they still did pretty well. Um, they also bombed a factory in um, England, uh, which I believe was even more or less successful. I think they, um, I think they destroyed one factory point, but that one was rebuilt and uh, uh, they sent one unit um, to help out in Romania uh, as a reinforcement, but um, or maybe it wasn't in Romania, I think it was in the Carpathians, which actually helped because, as I said, they um, held on there. Um, well, those are about the most important things that happened, and as you can see on the German track now, uh, the small factory obviously represents, the, the grey one is the Italian one, uh, the roundels, well, they're all, that's obvious enough, I guess, which one is which. Um, the black factory is the German one. They still have 11 resources, but their factories are down to 9, so by now it's really starting to hurt them. Um, yeah, and the Allies obviously don't have any such problems. Um, maybe they will soon invade uh, from the south as well, which might quickly eliminate Italy from the equation as well. And as you can see, the Germans have a pretty large force pool, which would be nice if they actually had the um, resources and factory points to actually build them. But obviously they don't, so um, yeah, it's very hard for the Germans to replace their losses now. Still, I'm very surprised by um, how long they've actually managed to still hold on, even though I could have attacked sooner with the Allies, I suppose. But 
despite that, they, they still have pretty potent, potent forces in play. So um, let's see what the final turn of 1943 is going to bring, uh, which will be winter in uh, Finland and Russia. But as far as the rest of the areas are concerned, they are still, well, not effect affected by winter weather. So who knows, maybe the south will see some action on the next turn. Thank you for watching.